Hello, I'm Eric Cantor, House Majority Leader from the Southern District of Virginia. I'm happy to be with you this Memorial Day as we spend time with family and friends in festive gatherings and thoughtful ceremonies to honor those brave Americans who gave their lives in service to our country. It is their sacrifice that has kept America free and strong. Let us pay them tribute by renewing our resolve to promote lasting peace and liberty across the globe. As we spend time with family this weekend, our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Joplin, Missouri, Oklahoma City, and other areas of our country that are facing unthinkable circumstances and terrible tragedy. Please know that Congress stands ready for a request for funding from President Obama to ensure that the resources are available to help these communities rebuild and recover. Americans have a rich history of standing tall in tough times and going the extra mile to propel ourselves forward. Whether it was the American Revolution, the Industrial Revolution, or the Internet Revolution, we are unique in our ability to apply creativity, intellect, and leadership to solve any problem. Now we face new obstacles as this country finds itself at a crossroads. Before us is a choice about who we want to be as a country. Do we want a future with more taxes and more government? Or do we want to see more growth and more jobs? We saw the former when Democrat-controlled Washington enacted the nearly trillion dollar stimulus program which drove up our debt and failed to get people back to work. And it took a sweeping Republican electoral victory to stop President Obama, Leader Reid, and Leader Pelosi from imposing one of the largest tax increases in American history. Now, as the summer of 2011 approaches, far too many of our family members, neighbors, and friends are still out of work. To be strong, to lead, to grow, and to empower people, here's what we've got to do. We've got to shift from a government that smothers new jobs and business growth to one that nurtures an environment for getting people back to work and back to what Americans do best, innovate, compete, and lead. That's why Republicans promised to focus on jobs in our Pledge to America and have been committed to economic growth and jobs since day one. Beginning in January, we adopted a two-track strategy we call Cut and Grow. The first part, cut, is obvious. We know that Washington has to stop spending money we don't have and manage the money we do spend more wisely. Families are tightening their belt and sticking to a budget, and Washington should too. But we also understand that cutting alone isn't enough to address our debt crisis or get people back to work. We must also grow. For too long, Washington has relied on gimmicks or government knows best solutions. No more. Now more than ever, our nation needs small businesses and entrepreneurs to get people back to work. That's why this week we continue to build on the Pledge to America and our work over the past five months by unveiling our plan to help the nation's job creators grow the economy and start hiring. Our plan for America's job creators injects a dose of common sense, pro-growth economic policies to give our businessmen and women the tools they need to get the for hire signs back in their windows again.